Hey guys, Movie Fan here. Some months back, I asked you guys if I should talk about why Amy Jo Johnson refused to do the Power Rangers special once and always. And pretty much all of you said, yes, I should. And Nicholas even said, call out the liars. And you know what? For everybody who said yes, and everybody else who made comments, like Nicholas, for instance, saying, call them out, this is for all of you. As we all know, Amy Jo Johnson, she turned down the special. And there was a lot of rumors going around that she did it because of a pay dispute. However, she did come back and jokingly make this remark. Please stop saying I didn't do the reunion because of money. It's simply not true. Maybe I just didn't want to wear spandex in my 50s or couldn't go to New Zealand for a month or none of your beeswax. Now, obviously, she was kind of joking when she said that. However, a lot of people kind of took that pretty seriously and were even claiming that she chose not to go because she didn't want to wear pink spandex at her age. And for the record, she is still very beautiful and in great shape for her age. In fact, she hasn't really changed at all. But anyway, a lot of people made those cracks. And again, they were still saying it was all about the money. And the worst one to make these claims was Screen Rant. They definitely say on their website, especially now, they say that she didn't do it because of a pay dispute. And what's even worse is Screen Rant claims that the reason that Jason David Frank isn't in this special is because he died. Wrong, 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 wrong. Wrong, 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 wrong. You're wrong, you're wrong, you're wrong. The reason why Jason David Frank is not there is because he chose not to be there. He said he was done with Power Rangers and that he was retiring. And for the record, they were just about finished by the time he died. We all know this because they were talking about this at least a year in advance. They were even showing us little bits of footage and behind-the-scenes photos. So, uh-uh. It's not because he died. It's because he chose not to be there. That's the truth, and we all know it. Why this lie is allowed to be shown on this channel is beyond me. And why nobody's called this out is an even bigger mystery. That's the lies I keep hearing. That she refused to do it because of pay disputes, or, you know, they took that uh, joke that she made and, well, they just uh, spread it around to say that's the reason. However, there is a real simple reason for this, and she couldn't talk about it until after the special came out and once things were finally in order. So, for those of you who want to know what the real reason is, I'll tell you right here, right now. The real reason that Amy was not there was because she couldn't go. And that's really the truth. And in fact, she did inadvertently tell us. And it's really the truth. Because what was going on was she was in the middle of negotiations with Boom Studios to create the comic book short Power Rangers Reimagine and Mighty Morphin Power Rangers The Return. And because she was in the middle of those negotiations, she could not go and film in New Zealand. She had to stay where she was in order to work this whole thing out. She just couldn't like do this over the phone. It doesn't work that way, folks. Now, I'll admit, I'm surprised to find out that the only way to all of a sudden do a comic book is to negotiate a contract for that. I didn't even know that was a thing. But it makes sense, because in this day and age, damn near everything's all about contracts anymore. You want to sign up to be a football coach? you got to have a contract. Of course, being a movie star or a singer, well, sure, of course, contract. And apparently, in order to write comic books, you have to have a contract, too. Who knew? But the thing is, they were in the middle of those negotiations, so she could not go to New Zealand to shoot the film. And furthermore, she could not talk about it until it was finally all locked in. When I met her and David Yost at the Des Moines Comic Con, she did say that. And that makes perfect sense because there was no way she could have negotiated over this in New Zealand. She just couldn't split both ways on this subject. She had to pick one or the other. And she really had her heart set on creating Reimagine and The Return. And it sickens me that even though she's talked about this at the cons, all this stuff is still out there. You still are seeing these phony baloney reports on YouTube, on Screen Rant especially, and they're the worst. 
and so many other places. If you're watching this, please share this video with your friends, your fellow Power Rangers fans. This is Movie Fan, signing off.